class today we will read poem and lesson from your textbook honeycomb first meadow surprises walk across a green field a park or even under a clump of trees and you will notice many wonderful things what are some of the surprises a meadow has for someone with a keen eye and a sharp ear Meadows have surprises you can find them if you look walk softly through the velvet grass and listen by the brook you may see a butterfly rest upon a buttercup and unfold its drinking straws to sip the nectar up you may scare a rabbit who is sitting very still you at first you may not see him when he hops you will a dandelion whose fuzzy head was golden days ago has turned to airy parachutes that flutter when you blow explore the meadow house meadow meadow houses the burrows in the ground a nest beneath tall grasses the ants amazing mount o oh, meadows have surprises and many things to tell you may discover these yourself if you look and listen well to louis brand philips Now here is an another poem busy world bees are buzzing frogs are hopping moles are digging there is no stopping vines from climbing grass from growing birds from singing winds from blowing birds from bloom, blooming bees are humming sunbeams dancing raindrops drumming all the world is whirling dizzy some summer time is very busy francis gorman drysdale maybe ha huh? Now we will read ninth lesson before you read if you wish to go on a long bicycle ride the bicycle should be in good condition if possible an expert mechanic should overhaul it but what happens if the machine has a will of its own and the mechanic knows next to nothing a bicycle in good repair part 1 A man I knew proposed one evening we should go for a long bicycle ride together on the following day and I agreed. I got up early for me I made an effort and was pleased with myself he came half an hour late. I was waiting for him in the garden. It was a lovely day. He said that's a good looking machine of yours. How does it run? Oh, like most of them, I answered easily enough in the morning. Goes a little stiffly after lunch. He caught hold of it by the front wheel and the fork and shook it violently. I said, "Don't do that. You will hurt it." I did not see why he should shake it. It had not done anything to him. Besides, if it wanted. shaking i was the proper person to shake it i felt much as i should had he started wagging my dog he said this front wheel wobbles i said it doesn't if you don't wobble it it didn't did not wobble as a matter of fact nothing worth call calling a wobble he said this is dangerous have you got a hammer i ought to have been firm but i thought that perhaps he really did know something about the business i went to the tool shed to see what i could find when i came back he was sitting on the ground with the front wheel between his legs he was playing with it twiddling it round between his fingers the remnant of the machine was lying on the gravel path beside him he said it looks to me as if the bearings were all wrong i said don't you trouble about it any more you will make yourself tired let us put it back and get off he said we may as well see what is the matter with it now it is out he talked as though it had dropped out by accident before i before i could stop him he had unscrewed something somewhere and out rolled all over the path some dozen or so little balls catch them he shouted catch them we must not mustn't lose any of them he was quite excited about them we groveled around for half an hour 
एंड फाउंड सिक्सटीन ही सैड ही होप टू वी हैड गॉड दैम ऑल बिकॉज इफ नॉट इट वुड मेक अ सीरियस डिफरेंस टू द मशीन I put them for safety in my hat. It was not a sensible thing to do. I admit. Comprehension check. He then said that while he was about it, he would see to the chain for me, and at once began taking off the gear case. I did try to. dissuade him from that i told him what an experienced friend of mine once said to me solemnly if anything goes wrong with your gear case sell the machine and buy a new one it comes cheaper he said people talk like that who understand nothing about machines nothing is easier than taking off a gear case I had to confess he was right in less than 5 minutes he had the gear case in two pieces lying on the path and was groveling for his screws he said it was always a mystery to him the way screws disappeared common sense continued to whisper to me stop him before he does any more mischief you have a right to protect your own property from the ravages of a lunatic take him by the scruff of the neck and kick him out of the gate but i am weak when it comes to hurting other people's feelings and i let him muddle on he gave up looking for the rest of the screws he said screws had a knack of turning up when you least expected them and that now he would see to the chain he tightened it till it would not move next he loosened it until it was twice as loose as it was before then he said we had better think about getting the front wheel back into its place again I held the fork open and he worried with the wheel. At the end of ten minutes, I suggested he should hold the fork and that I should handle the wheel, and we changed places. At length, we did get the thing into position, and the moment it was in position, he burst out laughing. I said, "What? What is the joke? What's the joke?" He said, "Well, I am an ass." He was it was the first thing he had said that made me respect him I asked him what had led him to the discovery he said we have forgotten the balls I looked for my hat it was lying topsy turvy in the middle of the path he was of a cheerful disposition he said well we must put back all we can find and trust to providence we found 11 we fixed 6 on one side and the 5 on the other and half an hour later the wheel was in its place again it need hardly be added that it really did wobble now a child might have noticed it he said it would do for the present i said watching you do this is of real use to me it is not only your skill that fascinates me it is your cheery confidence in yourself your inexplicable hopefulness that does me good thus encouraged he set to work to refix the gear case he stood the bicycle against the house and worked from the off side then he stood it against a tree and worked from the on side then i held it for him while he lay on the ground with his head between the wheels and worked at it from below and dropped oil upon himself then he took it away from me and doubled himself across it till he lost his balance and slid over on to his head then he lost his temper and tried bullying the thing the bicycle i was glad to see showed spirit and the subsequent proceedings degenerated into little else than a rough and tumble fight between him and the machine one moment the bicycle would be on the gravel path and he on top of it the next the position would be reversed he on the gravel path 
द बाइसिकल ऑन हेम नाउ ही वुड बी स्टैंडिंग फ्लश्ड विद विक्ट्री द बाइसिकल फॉर्मली फिक्सड बिटवीन हिज लेग्स बट हिज ट्रिम्फ वुड बी शॉर्ट लिव्ड बाई ए सडन क्विक मोमेंट इट वुड फ्री इट सेल्फ एंड टर्निंग अपॉन हिम हिट हिम शार्पली ओवर द हेड विद वन ऑफ इट्स हैंडल्स एट ए क्वार्टर टू वन डर्टी एंड डिशेवल्ड कट एंड ब्लीडिंग ही सेड आई थिंक दैट विल डू एंड रोज एंड वाइब्ड हिज ब्रो द बाइसिकल लुकड एज इफ इट ऑल्सो हैड हैड इनफ ऑफ इट विच हैड रिसीव्ड मोस्ट पनिशमेंट इट वुड हैव बीन डिफिकल्ट टू से I took him into the back kitchen where so far as was possible he cleaned himself then I sent him home zerom ke zerom abridged thank you for watching please like share and subscribe